a Muslim girl was raped recently in New York uh, in, 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 a, in a public school. She was grabbed in the stairway and she was, she was violated. Uh, gang violence, we also see the cult of individualism that's bred because of the consumer, uh, consumer you know, rush towards young teens. In the book Branded, it talks about that. How do, we, how do we teach zuhd to our children? How do we teach our children that being you know, aloof from the, this world, controlling this world, not letting the world control you? How do you teach that when everywhere they look there's you know, the latest sneakers, the latest you know, billboard they're wearing on their t-shirts, um, iPhone, iPad, I, I, it's all about me, 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 the cult of narcissism. How do you instruct that you know, in, in, in front of the tsunami of a public school system? I mean, it's, it's, it's very difficult. The high school experience, I think, for almost everyone is a distraction. You just have to kind of uh, zone out or like ignore it. Most people are free to do basically like as much as they want. Like even if your parents don't approve of it, like they don't have to know. I would hear about so many people that were smoking that like, you know, even the quote unquote nerds of our school would smoke weed on a regular basis. more of the experience and rather than the education that's given there especially when you're with the teachers you can even tell half of them don't want to be there teaching half of the students that are in the class half of them sit there not even paying attention whether it's listening to music to like eating not paying attention to the teacher so the teachers don't want to be there and the students don't want to be there so half the time you don't get a full education and when you do ask a teacher for help it's really restricted and they some of them get annoyed like they don't want to help you one time I was walking to class and I saw this girl that used to be in my eighth grade in science class and she was pregnant and that was a really big shock to me because I'm like okay just a year ago you were studying science with me she was in my lab and now she was pregnant and she was totally different like I, I went up to her and I asked her like you know what are you gonna do with your life and she's like I don't know it's it went downhill for her so I, you know if you just hang out with the wrong crowd for one Spend second, I guess, you just go down the wrong road. So that's the big thing about public high schools. We have our own understanding of sexuality. We don't have try it before you buy it. We don't have I'm getting them digits. We have I'm gonna buy you a ring. I mean, we have a whole different process of marriage. So the Islamic school option for us, especially in high school, uh, as I said, it's wajib, it's crucial. <laughs>